Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Steve. And this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Today, once again, continuing down the road of Old Forester. We've only got a couple left. Nineteen twenty. It's been a great road so far with Old oh, Forester. I gotta amazing say, amazing road. I'm I'm excited for it. So this is Prohibition style at 115 proof. Uh, this I would say is on par with like their their 1910 and their Statesman. It's did, probably... We did, we, not, did we have the 1910? Um, yes. We did. Yeah, just we before this one. Yeah. Yep. Because we've been going in uh, what would be date order. Right. Get Except for the Statesman. The Statesman doesn't have a um, an age on it. Really? A date. A date. I'm sure it's got an age. Yeah, it's got an age. Just not a date. Yeah. Interesting. Statesman just sounds fancy. It does. It just sounds pretentious, like it's trying too hard. Yeah. We'll see when we get there. Stay tuned. So, Prohibition style. So it's a, what they're claiming to be a older styling, I guess. But, nice. yeah, so, you know, as we've talked about before, Old Forester, to me, has different tiers uh you know with the screw caps being the lowest tier mm -hmm. and then you start getting into the cork tops and kind of the 1910 1920 and <coughs> statesman and maybe the single barrels are kind of in that as well as that like mid tier uh, and then you get up into the president's and the birthday bourbon, okay. which president, the presidential bottles, I think you can only get from the distillery <coughs> like oh, once wow. a year or something okay. like that. So they're kind of just as, just as hard, if not even yeah. harder to get than the birthday bourbon. Right. Because wow. if they're not distributed, then unless you're there, you can't you're get it. You're not getting it. Interesting. Getting green apple off the nose. Getting a lot right of a lot of sweet green apple. Yeah. yeah, like like just just overripe green apple, hmm. where like the sugars have kind of just started to ferment a little bit right. and caramelize. Well, not quite caramelized, but no, not ferment. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, maybe if it was dipped in caramel. Yeah, I, I that's see that's that. that's yeah. that. That's what I was going for. Green apple is like is so so uh, forward. It's yes, just like, it, it is definitely the first note that hits your nose is green apple. Then kind of dives into that caramel and vanillas, which is funny because the the marketing right the prohibition style. I was reading this before. It's because during prohibition it was bottled as medicine, right. Yep. So it's it's just ironic that it tastes like or that it smells like green apple, I guess. Or maybe it's not. Medicine. Yeah, medicine. What smell. medicines do you have that are green apple flavored? Is that not a thing? Is I don't. I don't know. know just fruit, fruity stuff. Fruity in medicines. General, right? Right, like sweet. Like I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Normally, you know, when I think of medicine flavors, I it's think like of grape, cherry, and cherry. Yeah, you could throw apple in there. I guess. I haven't had any apple medicine, but... I don't know if I have either. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe yeah, a little wrong. bit of uh, barrel on the back end. Yeah. Yeah, the, my my initial, uh, my initial sniff, I kind of got that, like, it just kind of kind of burnt a little bit, but it wasn't right. necessarily an alcohol burn. It was more of, like, the... Barrel the, spice The, the barrel burn. spice, yeah. Uh, just kind of shocked me a little bit at first. Right. I don't remember. It's a little higher proof. Yeah, this is uh, so far the highest proof at 115. Uh, other than that, it was the screw top 100 yep. and then the bottled and bond. 
Which was also Both at 100. 100. <clears throat> All right. Ready to go in? Let's see if it tastes like it smells. All right. Hopefully we get a little bit of that green apple and caramel. Definitely get a lot of dark, chocolatey caramel flavors. Chocolatey? Yeah, it's really? uh, it's like burnt caramel to like a chocolate or coffee. Mm. I could see the coffee. I could see like a like a light roast, like a fruity right. kind of kind of light roast coffee. <clears throat> that uh, the bitterness with yeah. the light roast. Yep. Yep. That that apple though definitely does come through. It does. It is not as pronounced as in the nose. Yeah. But it is. It's on, definitely there. On the taste. Hmm. So. That's really good. What do you think? I like it. I, as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of higher proofs right. yet. Maybe this will be, maybe this will be the stepping stone I need to kind of get me into there. Right. Get me into the 120 proofs. Yeah, hopefully. 30 uh, proofs. When we get into the blue label single barrel, that will, uh, I'll have you saying, oh yeah, I like this. Yeah. Hopefully, I I like it though. This is great. I wanna I wanna try to Add water it down a little water. bit. Yeah. You want some room temperature water rather than? Oh uh, yeah, that'll yeah. That'll a cold better. water. I think I'll do the same. Two drops. Two drops today. Do the same, keep them consistent. Or about, uh, use more. Right, so we've got uh, just a few more bottles in this lineup. We're almost have, done. Have you been seeing the same progression that I kind of set these up in as each one gets a little bit better and better? <coughs> Yeah, I think so. I want to I want to definitely go back and pour one of each, pour a little bit of one of each just to kind of remember them all. Right. Um but I I definitely have been I, I feel like I've been liking each one just a little more right. each time. I mean, between uh the 1910 and the 1920, I think they're they're almost equally as good but yeah. for different reasons. Yeah. I agree. You know, the 1920 has the higher proof, and it's got very different flavors compared to the double-barreled 1910. Hmm. Brought out a ton of oak for me. Yeah. It, like, got rid of the green apple. Yeah. Brought forward rich, dark coffee. Like, it's no longer a light roast. <laughs> we roasted it a little longer. It's, right. now, it's now dark roast. Now, when, when you say coffee, are you thinking drinking coffee or no, I'm coffee thinking beans? Like beans. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that, like, nat that natural kind of coffee bean type flavor. But, yeah, same, same thing. Very, very like oaky. This one is almost... You know how you can get chocolate covered coffee beans? Yeah. Like those couple drops of water brought it from like light roast with apple to espresso bean with chocolate. Right. With dark chocolate. That's weird. You know, I was I was just like in my mind I was thinking as I was putting the drops in, I was like, this doesn't do anything. What are we doing? This is so dumb. It really does. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> does. Uh, every time, uh, not every time, but I'd say the majority of times, it it brings out a flavor that wasn't there, yeah. or just brings forward flavors that were a little bit subdued before. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, occasionally it's it's also very, very oily. Yes. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, you get like really I, nice fingers on the glass. I don't think I've ever seen it that predominant with a whiskey. Like you know, that's what you look for in wine and stuff right. like that. But but I, that that's crazy how yeah. thick it is. Yep. Weird. So, what would you rate this one? Um, I like it a lot. Um, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably right around an 8 for me. Yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing as you said that. I was like, hmm, I, I think I'm going to end up rating this around an 8. Yeah. I forget what I rated everything else, but it was right around like 6 to 7.5, I think. Right. For pretty much everything. I feel like one of them got a nine. I think the nineteen ten was your so highest score on one. I, I think so too. Yeah. But this is good. Yeah, definitely delicious. Uh I would not shy away from it, even though it is a higher proof. Uh, you know, obviously adding a little bit of water doesn't hurt it. Yeah. Uh, if anything, you know, I would say maybe give it a taste at the one fifteen. And if it's just too much for you, start adding a couple drops no until, shame. until you get comfortable with it and enjoy it from there. Maybe yeah. uh, just an ice cube or something like that would be enough for most people. So Yeah, yeah, I feel like it'd be good in an old-fashioned. Yeah, very good. Definitely. Yeah. Or maybe, is there is there like a, is there a whiskey coffee drink? Because I know you can make like a coffee um, margarita, or no, not margarita, coffee martini. So like, yeah. you know, like, is there uh, any is there any drink out there that's whiskey and coffee? I mean, Irish coffees I feel like are just straight up whiskey and coffee, yeah. hot coffee. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll have to look into it. See if there's anything good. Yeah. Maybe do a short on or something like that. Yeah. Well, with that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.